Welcome to Google My Maps. Today we're going to be looking at part three, lines and shapes. My name is Lisa Nowakowski. You can find me on Twitter at Noah Techie. We're going to talk more today about drawing lines and shapes. So in part one, we looked at how to draw a line. And that was done through this icon here at the top where I cl simply click on it. I chose the first option of add a line or a shape. So say I want to outline Nevada, I can click at each of the points and it gets a little tricky around here and I'll show you how you can fix that. And then once I get to my end I can double click it and I have a polygon. So it gives me the opportunity to rename the polygon. There it is. Again going into the edit mode I can rename this Nevada. I can put in some descriptors here. Again, if you're working with students and say state reports, this is a great place for them to put some of their information, possibly bibliography, uh, when it was founded, uh, things like that. And here you go. Now, if we look down here, you'll notice that there are several other dots that are in here. Well, that's because the state isn't exactly this shape. So if I want to get it more precise, I can go ahead and click on here is a main dot and here is a main dot and there's a ghost dot I'm going to call it in between. I can click and drag that and I, you'll notice that it goes up just a little bit and it changes the shape so ever so slightly. Here's my new dot right here. Here's my original one and you'll notice again between the two dots there's a I guess I'm calling it a ghost dot which will allow me to click and drag and create a new dot so I can get the exact shape that I'm looking for in the state or whatever uh, shape I'm looking at. So clicking on this again I have all of my options. So there are a few different options in this as there were yesterday with the pin markers. So if I click on the paint can, the style, I can change the color which is a fun feature. I can also change the um, transparency. So right now it's pretty transparent but if I want it pretty solid I can make it a really solid color. Uh, this would be fun to do um, creating shapes within maps if you're studying um, shapes and things like that uh, within mathematics. You can kind of block out some of the information. And there you go. So I can have it very light or I can have it dark. I can also change the border width. So currently it's pretty narrow, but I can make it much thicker as well. Go ahead and click off that. And again, I do have the opportunity to edit. I can add in images or videos like we did yesterday with the place markers. And yesterday I showed you Google Images. Today, let's look at YouTube. So if I know the exact YouTube URL, I can paste it here. Otherwise, I'll just do a search. And here are several different videos that we can place into um, the shape of Nevada here. So if I wanted to choose one, Interstate 15, I can go ahead and preview it by pressing the play button. It'll come up and then we can preview it. If it's one that we want, we can go ahead and press the select and there it is. Again, just like with the uh, place markers, if I wanted to add another uh, video or image, I press the plus button here and I can find more videos uh, to choose from and always pressing that blue save button. And if I made a mistake, of course, here is the delete feature. So zooming out, you'll notice that I have Nevada here. I can actually move this shape around and place it anywhere else on my map. This is a great idea if you're trying to compare the size of one state to another or one area to another. So you'll notice I have my pins here. I click on it and I can move it. And the further south it gets, the closer to the equator, the small it actually tends to appear. The further north I go, the larger it tends to appear. And then looking at our um, over here on the left side, I can choose that. Of course, this pops up again. It tells me the square miles and the actual perimeter of the shape. So again, this could be used for uh, comparison 
in mathematics, uh, in social studies. In mathematics, you can compare one state to another, the perimeter and maybe the square miles of it. As you can see, there are various applications of using this in the classroom throughout the different subject matters.